So after I read Martin Delaney's manifesto called The Condition, I did learn a lot about him, um, especially in the bio before it got to the condition in the book. And I really did learn that his argument was fair. I would have to say that it was fair. And it reminded me of David Walker's appeal a lot, but less militant and less, to a certain point, violent. But at the same time, he was really just arguing that even abolitionists wouldn't even consider blacks as equal. So for blacks to feel as though they are the majority and they feel empowered, they have to go back to Africa and go back to Central and South America and the West Indies, just anywhere other than America. Because blacks can love America all they want, but he's claiming that she doesn't love them back because they're in slavery in the first place. Now see, abolitionists, they were originally against slavery, slavery as well, but he felt as though abolitionists would not consider blacks as equal in the first place. So I thought that his argument, it was effective and it was effective enough to put into a manifesto. And he did do a lot as an activist. And I would have to say that I do agree with his argument to a certain extent. I feel as though if he were to actually try to lead like blacks, like a big group of them to go back to Africa, specifically he wanted them to go back to Liberia, it probably would have had you know, a lot of attention. You couldn't really, it was so many strict laws against trying to help black people out in the first place, um, whether they were free or enslaved. Delaney was born a free male, um, so he was able to read and write and go to school, but it was still some limitations on that as well. So you learn that in the, well, I learned that in the condition, um, he really, traveled a lot traveled his family around a lot so because he knew where black people were the majority and he was really a part of well a big his whole manifesto and his whole point of doing this was to make blacks feel empowered and not make them feel like they they just aren't worth anything because that's what really slavery was about and that's why slaves were being treated so terribly so even for the enslaved it was really just for it was like a call to action, somewhat. And I'll have to say that I would agree with it. It was, for some, I could see how whites would not like it. Because, honestly, you would think that they, I mean, slave masters wouldn't think that they're doing anything wrong and whatnot. It was just the norm during the time of slavery. But black people knew that they needed something to empower them because it was just feeling they just had a feeling of just not having any hope and he really wanted to try to have blacks come together and migrate to have a new black nation and that's why they called him the godfather of black nationalism um, he was, people considered him a very close second to Frederick Douglass simply because they worked together. Um, and Frederick Douglass's views were somewhat similar to Delaney's, but they always argued a lot, especially when he was working for the North Star with Douglass. But um, it made me wonder why Delaney's work was not publicized as much as Douglass's and whatnot, because they were both activists towards anti slavery. But I do have to say that I do agree with Delaney's argument towards um, anti-slavery in the first place. Um, it wouldn't be easy to migrate all of, not all, but the majority of black people back to Africa and South America and the West Indies and whatnot. But at the same time, he started with a manifesto and it wasn't his only manifesto as well. It was just one of many. Um, because he just wanted black people to feel as though they were equal because America wasn't really doing it for them.